mighty Jean Grey. Decks are completely clear and ready to go sailing. Totally. Don't forget the Fisher, Fisher Price steps. The Fisher Price steps. Yeah, those will hold me. Yeah. Kind of feels like feels like this this uh, boat's going to be listing a little bit to starboard. You need to <laughs> counterbalance some of the weight over on the port side. <laughs> Love it. Look free. You're here to enjoy the day. Slow like a pro. That's right. I think you've been practicing since totally. the first time we went out. Totally. That paddleboard behind you. Yeah. I really like how uh, the decks are uncluttered. You got super good visibility yeah, here, especially, visibility. especially on a. Luck, luckily, it's only the Fourth of July, so it's <laughs> not right. a very busy day yeah, typically not, not important for at all. people on you know paddle boards or uh, yeah, swimming or anything, kayaks or yeah. swimming or anything like that. Yeah. So that's bridge. good. <laughs> bridge is all lined up with people. Yeah, they're jumping. I bet already. Are they jumping already? Yeah, they jump off. You got a boat up head? Okay. They have a couple of paddle boards strapped together, or what? I don't know how they're doing that. Pizza rolls up in here. Hot. All right, I made enough for everybody. Explain to me, like this is a, this is your college uh, dorm fridge. Yes. That's right. It's a yacht fridge. I it's a yacht it fridge. A, a yacht fridge. Indispensable, indestructible, super necessary, ultimate necessity, yacht fridge. I mean, it looks well provisioned. Yes, it is. I think I'll take one of those red uh, mango carts, please. Watermelon, it is. Right on. This is a must have for any boater. 
and realized it was the most difficult one to reach out of the whole stack there. Successful though. fender retrieve. That's why you always leave your fenders hanging over the side so you can practice when they come on loose. You can practice man overboard drills. Little do other sailors know when they see you with your fenders overboard, they're actually training for some hardcore rescue stuff. <laughs> and we are hardcore. We are hardcore. Capital H, capital C. The other, the other thing is you make sure that you have as many obstructions on the deck as possible. Yes. So that you can practice getting knots and a-holes out of your lines and entanglements uh, in light like conditions yes so it's a synthesized added stress level yes so what we train for harbor patrol mowing these people down i've never never done it before practice now there's one thing if you can just put just a hair of reverse on it yeah i did so slightly i did Fourth of July, look at this mess. Shenanigans. I got nowhere to go. I so I don't understand this, 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 uh, yeah, how are you gonna how I got nowhere to go. Yeah, just slow her down, dude. No, but I got, I literally have to go back because I have nowhere to go. Stop the boat, dude. Look down, make sure there's nobody of coming out. Coming right in front of, you. of course. Okay. Coming in for a landing. Coming in hot. Clear of obstructions. <laughs> Pretty high-end uh, shore power cord. Yes, yes sir. Only the best. AYBC approved. That's right. Hi. Hi. Alexa, who is Eddie Guajardo? Here's something I found on the web. According to justice.gov, the investigation revealed Guajardo, a member of the Texas Syndicate prison gang, orchestrated various drug deals in the Corpus Christi area. I knew it.